the idea of giving my personal details over to um, uh, the government uh, is um, completely ridiculous. Um, but it happens all the time anyway, regardless of my um, liking for it one way or the other. Uh, doing so with an ID card that has biometric data on it is another level beyond totally unacceptable. Okay, so you've got things like um, the totally unacceptable thing that goes on with like, you know, where you can um, you get a phone call from a company you've never heard of one day and all of a sudden they know exactly who you are because you bought a fridge from Comet ten years ago, right? That's that's this level of totally unacceptable uh, intrusion. ID cards are up here somewhere, way over the top here. Taking the mic in ways that have never been taken before. And I'm leaving this video response to say, no, I'm not having an ID card. And if you want to force me to have one, you better be prepared to find the space in prisons for me and the millions of other people like me who are just going to say no, regardless of which excuse you come up with about the fight against terrorism and all of that BS, right? The woman in this video that's been put together by the um, No to ID Cards campaign is the tip of the iceberg of the kind of abuses that will take place with this system because A, the government are probably going to use a Microsoft database to store all of this personal information so you know they might as well just give it away for free because Microsoft are completely incapable of writing software that actually works properly and secondly the next government are probably going to be these Tory lot who will probably sell all of our personal information onto their criminal friends in private industry anyway so it's just another way for them to get their hooks into us and know everything about us and where we are 24 hours a day it's horrible, horrible intrusion. Uh, can you imagine going back in time by just 20 years and saying, oh, this will be what you're going to be asked to pay for by the UK government in the name of the fight against an invisible enemy? Uh, or whichever, what's the other excuse that they have about why we need ID cards? Um, or there was somebody on Question Time, the BBC weekly debate programme, talking about them in favour of them one time. And, and the, 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 uh, the excuse that they had in favour of them was some geniusly horrible thing that ID cards could never possibly protect you against. And it slipped my mind now. But it seems like they're grasping at straws to sort of go, oh, and it'll give you a bigger penis as well. And all of these other extra things that are supposed to make us go, oh, all right then, I don't mind having an ID card. I've got nothing to hide. If you've got nothing to hide, there's nothing to be frightened about. Whatever. I'm not having one, and if you want to force me, you'll have to put me in prison.